So I wasn't even going to show this set, but Wes wanted to. It's actually got kind of a funny story. So <clears throat> last year, just out hiking alone like normal, just found it. He's solid, but he's nothing special. And I was on the way back to the truck, and I had probably eight or nine dogs, eight or nine <laughs> deer shed, um, elk shed. So I was getting pretty tired. And uh, so I found this one, and I was looking. He was laying like that, and there's a game trail going that way and that way. I was like, well, the truck's that way, so I'm going to go that way. Walked back to my truck, didn't find it. Didn't care. Got home about a week later. I was like, eh, I'm going to match it up. And I had made it. X in the dirt with two big logs so I could find the exact spots. My GPS is finicky. Walked back, found the X, went down this trail about 50 feet, and this side, the cool side, was right there. So I could have seen it if I looked a little harder, but I just like to leave. Like, I don't know. I do some weird stuff sometimes. He's so cool. But he's a cool little bull. 320 range, I think. He's nothing special. That cool. kicker off that fifth yeah, is awesome. Yeah, you don't see extras on elk very often. I find a lot of them for some reason. But, so that's that one. Heck yeah. Maybe you might work up a sweat doing this like I did, dude. <laughs> My house felt like it was 80,000 degrees. Yeah, it's, it feels warm in here. I think we're on this one. But, uh, so this one, I was actually just hiking some deer flats. Wasn't even looking for elk sheds. Wasn't even expecting elk sheds. Some of you guys actually may have seen that video. I think mm -hmm. we did a video on it. Yep. And I was in some super thick bitter brush and sage, and I just happened to catch a piece of white and go back and look, and it was this side, and the other side was just laying right next to it. But this thing, I'm not kidding, this thing was at like probably 5,000 feet of elevation. And he's a lot bigger than he looked when I picked him up. I guessed him at probably like 320, and then I measured this side, the weak side, and it was 162, so I was just like, uh, feel a little better than I thought. Yeah. But he's got super long beans and hooks on his beans, which is cool. Look at those fronts, though, yeah, dude. Yeah, and his, his royals are really big. His thirds are pretty good. So that was a surprise find. One of my better elk sets. Do you like when elk swoop up in the on the beam? I mean, or? That's one of my favorite things is... That and their thirds. Their thirds are some of my favorites, but their beans are also my favorite. See, I'm this more of a back scratcher kind of guy. Yeah, I like back, <laughs> back ends. Oh, my God. But I, <laughs> I can't find elk sheds with big back ends. I just can't. I don't know why. This set here is actually my biggest, would have been my biggest elk set, but it's super broken. This thing is just heavy. That's one of the heavier sets I've ever yeah, he held. Yeah, doesn't look heavy, but... So he's longer than he looks. 56 inches... 56 inch beams, if I remember right. He's got retarded fronts. I think they're all 20 plus up there. And then he's got the biggest bases I've ever seen. So or big. Ever found. But, yeah, he's cool. I wish he wasn't broken. He's 338 broken, if I remember right. So, I don't know, 350 range. Like usual. <laughs> and here's the one I found recently that you haven't seen. This one's, this is a super cool bowl. I found, we were actually on our way out, and it glassed all the way back down into the bottom, and all I could see was like, right here. It was probably like 500 yards away. So I talked my buddy into walking down there to see if it was one, because he couldn't see it. He gets down there, and he's like, yeah, come down here. <laughs> I tried. So I walked down there and I couldn't believe how big it was for where we were. And uh, so we split up. He's got like a little broken in line there. So we split up, and about three hours later, my radio was dead, and I just hear <laughs> shoots his gun. I was like, hopefully that means something good. Mm -hmm. So I shot my gun. We ended up meeting up that way, and he was carrying this side here. And this thing is just cool. So awesome. A lot of mass. Yeah, he's not light, that's for sure. But Dang, I don't dude. know what this one scores. I have no idea. I never scored him, but he has decent beams too, especially that left side. Yeah, he's got really good beams, but I don't know what he scores. I have no idea. Might be my base set. Don't know. So we'll leave that one a mystery. <laughs> Watch out, rat dog. All right, now we're on to. 
my pride and joy. And this all started, let me just grab all of them except for the... Alright, we won't show them all. <laughs> I'll um, get back over here. This all started back in high school just wandering around. There was a deer spot I really liked. It's super thick and the Wheeler boys can't hit it. So, went in there with you and you picked up that big one. Would have been a 100 inch single but he was broken. So I ended up spending a lot more time in there trying to match it up and I found his older shed which is still impressive for like how small he is. Look at that, it's like a giant Y. Yep. Super goofy. And uh, so I just started spending almost every day I had in there looking for this buck and uh, probably on literally the 2025th trip um, I pulled out this set which is him in a bad year he's just got everything so cool. going on but both his beams are broken big old cheater right there is broken that hook cheater is broken that one's broken and he's this one as is is like 185 I believe just and broken everywhere so I thought I I was kind of disappointed when I found it just because I knew the caliber he was and that he was going downhill and it made me sad but I didn't want to give up so I just I just kept going and uh, probably literally the 30th trip I got off work fairly early and drove out there it's quite a drive and uh, well I hiked all day. I'm not showing you it's a secret. <laughs> hiked all like all afternoon, probably four hours. It was getting dark, and my buddy's like, "Let's go." And I was like, "I want to go over there." And he's like, "No, let's go." I was like, "Okay, we'll go." So I turn on the ridge right where the truck is, and probably a hundred yards from where I parked every single time was this guy. Look at that. Oh. And uh, I. I lost it. Um, my buddy said it sounded like I was trying to summon Satan. <laughs> <laughs> he thought I broke my back or something. He was he was scared, but oh my by goodness. far the biggest deer shed I've ever found. And I I hope to break it. Two fifty is what I really want. So I spent another five six trips in there. Well, we thought we thought you had the other side. Yeah, for we a did. Long time. And so I was just in there looking for his. Because I'm missing a set in between those two that I wanted to find. And uh, I took out my boss's son, who was 15 when we were out there. And literally, I was telling him on the way out, look for this cow, this cow skeleton. Because this is where I've been finding these. And we walk over a ridge, and he's like, come over here. And I was like, okay. He's like, it's the, it's the same buck. I was like, no way. And he found this side. Look at and that. it was not even... A hundred yards from where I found all of these, besides this one. This one was a little later, but it was just laying there, and he didn't realize how big it was. And I was like, "Dude, that's big." That's the business right there. And I knew it was the same buck just from the front, but I'd never even thought it was a set until we got back and threw them up together. Look at that. And this buck, as is with that little turd G two, is just over 225 and so i let him keep it i sent him home with it. i was like no this is probably one of the biggest deer sheds you'll find in a long 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 time to just keep it so we took it and about two weeks later he texts me and was like hey go look on your door so i walk out there open the door and this was laying there with a card on it and a bunch of gift cards and in the card it just said that he truly appreciated me taking him out and the fact that I was allowing him to keep the shed, but he didn't want it, he wanted it together. So this is by far not only my biggest set, but my favorite set just for that reason. That's so awesome, dude. So McCray, if you're watching, thank you. You have no idea how much it means to me, but he's a big one. I really want to break that this year. Look at those G4s though, yeah, man. Yeah, the G4s That's... are probably some of the longest ones you'll ever see. I believe this side's 15. This side's 14, if I remember right. I can't remember. But just a goofy, cool, big deer. And then recently, about a week ago, actually it was probably longer than that, a month, month and a half ago, I was out hiking the same spot, and I know the deer has been killed. He got killed this year. 
But I found on a hard white, and I am just stumped on it. I really think it's him in a really bad year. But you can see everything's identical. Other than he's super busted and his beam's weak on that one, but same, same pedicle, so I have no idea. It's same crazy. buck or different buck with exact same genetics. Something I'd like to look for, though. And that's it. All the chalk. I think we went through all the chalk besides the stuff in the garage <laughs> that you guys aren't going to see. But. Would you say that big deer set is probably one of your best shed memories? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Just for the fact of him giving me the other side, but... The emotions I went through when I saw that one, I actually thought it was an elk shed. I even radioed to my buddy Kel and was like, hey, I got an elk shed. It looks like the back end of a, bro a broken end of the back one. And I walked over there and <laughs> mine was exploded mush. Punched trees, ripped some limbs down, hooked my binos, radio spy, doing push ups. <laughs> the whole nine yards, you know. And he literally said it sounded like I was summoning Satan. I don't even remember talking. I'd just going buck wild. But yeah, that was. One of my favorites. And sure. also, I feel it was karma because you kind of did the exact same thing. Yeah, with... I gave away what at the time was my, my biggest deer shed. It was, I want to say it was 92 inch typical, but he had like 11 inches of eye guard. A lot of you probably know what I'm talking about. The Jason Campbell buck, and that was actually one of my favorite memories as well, giving that shit away because he was so appreciative and so, you know, gratified by it. And there was some turmoil, you could say, with the other side, and a lot of people tried to give me a bad rep for it, and that's just not how I am. Anybody that knows me knows that I'd give it away in a heartbeat if they weren't, you know, rude about it, but... Mm -hmm. I'm glad it worked out the way it did, and Jason got it because it means more to him than it ever will to me. So I'm, and then I went on that unbelievable run where I, was, I picked up that drop time shed, this set, that set, this shed, like four ninety plus inch sheds in like three weeks or something like that. So that's so awesome. Yeah, it was cool. Do you have a trip where you just things didn't go your Wyoming. way? Wyoming, Wyoming, Wyoming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we hiked. It was this past year, June, we went on a three day trip, I believe. And I, we hiked from sun up to sundown all three days. And the only thing I found, I kid you not, the only thing I found was a chalky. It was probably about that long, two point. That was it. Three that days. That was it. Yep, gnats, sweat, heat, sunburn. Everybody else is killing it. And I'm over here. I had it in my pocket actually. And they're like, what'd you find? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nobody was impressed to say the least, but yeah, that was that was a tough one. But you just right this past week was a tough one too, just going fourteen days of hiking without finding anything. But that's just how it goes. It is. It's how it goes. If you could give any advice to anybody, maybe not even shed hunting advice, but life v advice in general. Oh man, do what we would you get say? Into my uh, I love I love ideas. picking your brain. Werb Werb has some good insight, so. Do your worst. <laughs> if I had to make it easy, look at everything different. Don't see it for what it is. See it for what you want to see it as. Don't let people dictate you. Don't, don't look. It's different to have jealousy and anger. Live jealous, but don't be angry. Use that motivation to go do what you want to do for yourself. Don't live with an angry mind. Live with a jealous mind. Some people might get confused because they think jealousy is a bad thing. Jealousy is not a bad thing. It's normal. Oh, hell no. I've been jealous this yeah, whole time it, looking it, at it, all your normal. awesome stuff. You need to use it and just don't stop. You're going to get you're gonna get whipped, especially with shed honey. If that's what we're talking about. You're going to get whipped and you're going to get whipped bad. Like, look, I have three browns over here. <laughs> Does it frustrate me? Absolutely it frustrates me. But one day I'll find what I'm looking for. And that's, that's all we can do is look for what we're looking for. One day you'll find it. There you go. Um, but I want to do this to end it. I told you that. John B., I know you're probably not watching, but if you are, keep hiking and never stop. <laughs>